What's up guys? Shmo Diddy. If you're new to my channel, what's up? If you are a subscriber, what's up? I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone. It's awesome. Seriously. If you are new to my channel, I'm no expert, clearly. I'm, I'm just a dude keeping some snakes. I keep a bunch of tubs right here. I keep a rack system right here. And I have Captain Blackbeard, my bearded dragon, right here. And he has the biggest enclosure out of everyone. The coolest enclosure out of everyone. We're chilling. So I use coconut fiber and um, some sand, some Zoomed sand. That's a piece of wood. A nice piece of wood right there. A nice cave under there. Some rocks. Cacti. Only one cactus, actually. Plant. This dragon head's tilted over, so that's holding the uh, wood. Has a nice corner bowl. Yeah, it's all strapped down. Pretty awesome. Loves it. Has UV light, and it has the heat, heat bulb, cool side, hot side. Got a scorpion, an albino scorpion. I don't know, I forget, albino. I'm not exactly sure the name of it, I don't remember, but it's, well, it's a clear scorpion. Pretty simple. I put a little ball of water thing in there every once in a while. Give them a, a cricket or a eating mealworms, cucaracha, any kind of bug really put in there. I haven't put a pinky in there yet because it's still too small, but one day he'll get one. So, that's just a tub to keep nothing. Right now it's just whenever I'm transferring snakes. This is all treated like a rack system pretty much because it has heat cable on the back. This is my actual vision rack system right here. I do have a thermostat. Brand down here. Only for the rack system because it's plastic and the heat cable. It does actually get too hot because I first plugged it up without one. It gets way too hot. This metal rack right here, I don't have a... I need to shut this. I had this running probably the entire time I'm talking. So we'll see how good the audio is. I don't know where I'm going with this intro, because I'm rambling on. Give this video a thumbs up already for me rambling. We're going to cut to what I'm doing. I'm really just going to just clean some snake cages, tubs. I've been cleaning a bunch recently the past few days, but as I clean them, it kind of pushes more out. Or and I just fed some, and so that pushes some out too. So I'm gonna set this up on tripod. I'm kind of on a tripod right now, but set it up, get some shots. Stay tuned. Alright, so I use paper, regular paper, and it has just a little bit of print. Some of them have just a little bit of print on it, some of them don't. And then this newspaper at the bottom, this stuff has the ink in it, so that's the shiny stuff. So I don't use that stuff because there is ink in it. Uh, I do use regular newspaper whenever I get it. I like that stuff the best. I use regular paper because it's recycled from work, so it's gonna get thrown away if I don't take it because it's papers that I sort through. Then they usually go through the garbage because they're extra, so I bring them home, keep them, use it as bedding, so it's free and it's paper not going to waste, which is why I use it. So, I would prefer regular newspaper, but I only get so much, so I use it when I do. Got my routine down, so yeah, let's keep it moving. I keep the shiny paper only in my transfer bin because they're not in there that long, so they never have to sit on the ink or it can never absorb in their skin, so this is just kind of like a, a light bedding just for when I transfer them in case they go, and then I'll hose it out either way. But yeah, that's why I have the shiny paper. <laughs> Quick little one. This is a black tail Crevo. This is the first one that I got. Her name is Metroid. She's a female. I gotta clean actually with my false water cobra, so let's do that. He's a great 
great feeding spots. I do want to be kind of careful because he just ate. So there's a male false water cobra. It's the only male I have. I have two females. So his name is Hansel. How do I keep him? He has a nice size water bowl. Keep him on paper. I took his hide box out because whenever he needs a hide box, he'll go in the water and then whenever not, he'll just go back in the corner. And that's how I like to keep it. So it works. Let's get this clean. I'm gonna go hose this out outside real quick. Back in. Very young. I'm excited for these guys to get bigger. Definitely. These ones are also on my list to try and breed. That's why I've, uh, I've gotten a male and two females and one hypo female. <laughs> Gretel is a sister who is in shed, about to shed. And she's in her water bowl. So you can see she's a lot lighter. I don't want her to fly out. <laughs> they have a great food response. So that's pretty cool. You guys haven't seen, seen this one yet. She also just ate, so I want to be careful. And she's new. And she's not my typical snake, but she's similar to my first snake. And it's a ball python. And this is a, oh shit, what is she called? Spot nose firefly. Or firefly spot nose. Whatever the two, however they call it. She's a ball python. It's a female. Her name is Mochi. So I'm not sure what my albino is, because. My first snake actually was an albino ball python. She just ate yesterday. I've given her two meals, so she's eating really well. I don't want to be real careful with her. Just ate last night. All right, so I do keep a ceramic hide. Water bowl. Super cool, can't wait for her to go, grow old, get big. She'll look good next to my regular albino ball python. So her name is Mochi. Hopefully my albino will be uh, a male. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. We'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching. If you watched all the way through, yeah.